Hello fellow collectors and welcome back to Gallic Gun Toys. Today we're doing part two of my Dragon Ball collectible storage. Now if you caught part one, I did mention I have quite a large tote sitting here next to my review stand and uh, the first part was maybe a quarter of the figures. We're going to do a small batch now and there's poss there's most likely going to be another two parts to uh, this particular video series that I'm doing. Uh, this is just for a little bit of fun and to show you guys uh, my older collection before I got into the higher end Dragon Ball stuff uh, that I review and display um, on the channel. But yeah, so let's jump into it. Uh, we're going to start here with Raditz. He is quite an early figure from the line he is from. I think he's from about 2000. So, nice little Raditz. I got him second hand, so he's missing the scatter. Uh, here we have a Energy Blasting Freak Beezer, second form. And, yeah, this is one of my more favourite uh, ones. If you caught the last video, I did mention that... A lot of the time, these guys, the energy blasting ones, tend to be a little bit better quality. Um, not so much quality, but better, uh, have better um, sculpt, be uh, better sculpt work, better face face work, and overall a better aesthetic uh, because they can. They're not going for the articulation; they're going for one sort of pose and look. Uh, so I feel. A lot of these still hold up today, not all of them, but some of them hold up quite well. So here we've got uh, King Kai. I do have bubbles somewhere, but the bubbles I didn't get with this one, because this one I'm almost certain is a Chinese knockoff. But he's a nice placeholder, because I don't have a proper one. But he is pretty sure the only knockoff I have. Uh, I did pick him up with a heap of other knockoffs years and years and years ago, uh, probably about 14 years ago now, and yeah, I uh, got rid of the rest of the bootlegs, but I never managed to pick up another King Kai, so that one has uh, stayed in the collection. So here we'll move on to Kibito, that's uh, Kibito, uh, Supreme Kai, or Shin, as he is when he's first introduced. Nice little figure and holds up pretty well. Here we've got energy blasting uh, trunks. Once again, like I said, holds up pretty well. Um, if I can get him into focus, there we go. You know, not not the most detail in the face, but it was 1999, 2000. His sword comes out. He can hold his sword, which is very cool. Look like he's doing a cool finishing move and he does have the uh, effect there so there you have it there's trunks and his energy ball's gone flying so here is one of my favorites uh, looking back at the line never was before but is now just because the I don't have any figures of Spropovich other than this uh, in the in my collection I have at home uh, if you've seen the collection video, there are no Spropovich figures I have. Uh, I'm not aware of what ones are out there because uh, it's not not a character I'm super familiar with the figures they have done. I'm sure there's probably some I don't know about, so I'm not going to uh, pretend like I know, uh, like this is the only one, because I'm sure... I'm sure there's at least a Van Pestro statue, or uh, I know there'd definitely be Gashapon or something out there. But this guy really, really holds up uh, today. He's got his energy uh, absorbing thing, container, whatever you call it. Uh, but yeah, he really holds up today, I feel. So here we've got Android 17. Uh, face isn't too bad. Uh, he's missing his holster and his gun because I bought that one secondhand. And Freezer is missing his uh, 
energy ball because I also bought that one second hand. Uh, this one wasn't yellowed when it went into storage uh, when I opened it up for the video just before I was like oh okay she's faded quite a bit as you can see uh, the vest used to be this nice vibrant blue uh, that's on her on her skirt there okay so there's the androids uh, here's Gohan in his orange star high uniform just a nice really nice representation of Gohan especially for the time um, that's the main thing you gotta remember is some of these figures are pushing nearly 20 years old so you know they're not gonna be amazing and fantastic because they were still uh, making a lot a lot of progress with action figures but yeah, uh, so here we have Trunks. He was always one of my favourites, but I always felt he was a bit washed out with the colour in his face there. But still, one of my favourites to this day. Just, yeah, just that face. Even when I was a kid, I, I thought the face didn't have enough colour in it. it. Made him look like a bit of a ghost. But still, still, solid figure. Solid figure. Um, this one, I actually really like, um, well, see, you guys have to remember, um, I have a fond love for these guys, because this was my first Dragon Ball collection, uh, even though I know a lot of the faces, uh, look like dog shit, uh, but, you know, some, some of these just, they have a special place in my heart. You know, just, and I look at them, and I hold them in my hands, and they take me back to being, you know, 12, 13, 14, however old I was. Uh, I think I was maybe 11 or 12 when these started hitting the shelves, these particular uh, series of figures. Uh, okay, so, went off track there for a second, guys. Sorry about that. So, we'll go on to Nail here. Uh, this nail came in a two-pack, if I'm not mistaken, with a Piccolo figure, a battle damage Piccolo, and he also came with, I think it was like a, yeah, it's like a Namek tree. Pretty sure I have them on display around here somewhere, and just can't actually remember where, which is pretty sad because I recently did a full collection video tour, so I should have uh, seen them there. So this is uh, an instance of the faces not being the greatest <laughs> um, and don't hold up that well uh, he looks like something from a Nickelodeon cartoon in my opinion with those eyes but still still not we, we've got to remember this is this is at least a 15 year old figure uh, let's have a quick look at the year yeah 2003 oh shit it's 2019 okay so yeah, that's like a 16-year-old figure now. Yeah, next one up is Kid Trunks. Really nice Trunks figure. Uh, not bad for... You know, like I said, I'm, I'm going to stop saying it, guys. But yeah, for the year, not, not bad. Um, pretty nice little representation of Kid Trunks. And he came with a Gotan as well. And we'll probably have to get to Goten in part 3 or part 4, depending on when he decides to surface from this box next to me. So here's Android 16. Once again, really nice figure. Looks really good for the time. And I really need to stop saying that once again. So he's got his little machine gun blast there. Some tidy uh, line work, uh, paint work on his red ribbon symbol and the hand's gonna fall off on me alright that's fine you can go on the back there and then we've got the great Sam in here not too bad looking holds up pretty well in my opinion not as well as Spopovich but I think Spopovich holds up better because there aren't any other figures of him around uh, to compare it to 
And in my opinion, I think he looks really good. Along with our next one, I think he might be the winner um, of all of these guys because he is one of the most obscure characters. He appeared in like two, maybe three episodes, if I'm not mistaken, was quickly killed and dispatched by Vegeta in the Babidi saga on stage one of Babidi's ship. And, you know, this is the thing about uh, Irwin and Jax, is they did these obscure characters, uh, obscure outfits of characters that may have only appeared in like half an episode. Uh, but, yeah, this guy is really well done, really nice representation of this particular character. And there aren't any other uh, versions of this guy in anywhere near the scale, uh, to my knowledge. I could be wrong, uh, and if you know of one, drop a comment in the uh, down below, because I would love to know if there are any other uh, figures that aren't Gashapon or uh, world collectible figures of this guy because yeah he just he looks really good and I'm actually considering taking him and Spopovich and finding somewhere for them in my collection uh, here at home because all this stuff is uh, usually in storage at my mum's place and I don't have room for it in the storage there uh, like my storage collection. I have a few shelves, I have like five or six shelves all set up with uh, figures on and a few of those have Dragon Ball but I don't have room for everything that's in front of us and in the last video and still to come. So here's Krillin, he is one of the earlier figures in the line uh, like I mentioned with Raditz, he might actually be from that particular line he actually holds up pretty well. I feel like the face is pretty good. Uh, the overall aesthetic of the of his uniform and the figure itself is just pretty solid. Um, yeah, holds up pretty nicely. And actually, no, he might be from the second series because I'm pretty sure Roshi here was uh, from Wave One. And he also came with his turtle, which is around here somewhere, and will show up in uh, one of the one of the videos. I'm just not too sure which one just yet. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this up, guys, because I'm getting a little bit long-winded, like I do. So here we have uh, Angel Goku. Now this is just Goku with his halo and his wings. I'm pretty sure they repurposed this figure uh, quite a few times, mainly for uh, figures that went with uh, vehicles and stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna round it off with one of my uh, older personal favorites uh, back when I was collecting these guys pretty uh, intensively. So this is the uh, battle damaged Goku from his fight with Frieza. This guy uh, is one of the rarer figures. I don't think anything else we've looked at in this video is particularly rare, but uh, this guy back in the day was quite sought after and fetched a pretty pretty uh, good price for what they are on eBay back in the day but that is uh, I don't think there's a great deal of people collecting these these days and actively chasing them all down so if you are you you're probably in luck because other people have probably moved on to uh, other things like I have okay so here's one of the last ones we're looking at guys this is Trunks, powered up Trunks. Um, so now we've looked at all the Trunks. So we've got Normal over here behind Goku. We've got the regular Super Saiyan in the, just behind Krillin. And then we've got the uh, buff one here. 
and they are from uh, different different series I'm pretty sure different lines if I'm not mistaken this might have actually been from a two-pack I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm pretty sure it was a two-pack I picked this guy up loose at the markets some years ago but as you can see like uh, this one is from the later series that Roshi and Krillin here were from same with the Krillin and the Fui Fleet. And then these guys are from a later series. You can see the articulation uh, changed up quite a bit. With these guys, they have... I suppose just the articulation didn't change up too much. But the uh, box art definitely changed. And the overall aesthetic of the actual figures. So you got more like this instead of more like uh, that. So I'm going to wrap it up now guys, because this has gotten extremely, uh, extremely long winded, and I do apologise for that, and anyone that uh, stuck with me to the end, congratulations because you're a real trooper. Um, Alright guys, we'll see you next time, bye for now.